Hello and welcome to my third Duel Match podcast. Do you remember the game where you had 40 cards in the game, one deck? Do you remember the game where we uh, needed to use mana to summon creatures? And when they die, they happen to go to the graveyard and you can use them again, unless you're just a spell for it. Yeah, you remember that game? <laughs> it just got better. Today I'm going to talk about psychic creatures. Well, first up, I'm going to show you one of them. And you may be surprised, this is a new kind of type. And it's creatures. This is a psychic creature. Look at this. Yes, you see the card here? Some electric thing going on. To show that <laughs> that's the card. It does not give mana for some reason uh, that I'm going to explain for you later. Uh, air is some um, psychic creature. Uh, yeah, psychic creatures. Um, and um, yeah, that was pretty much the card. And how do you summon this thing? Well, well first I need to tell you that you don't have this card in your deck. No, you don't have it in the deck. Sounds weird, huh? Yeah. They are not counting like the 40 card deck that's 40 only. They are, you can have 8 of these cards and they're not in your deck. So when you start uh, your turn, you put it in something called a uh, hyperspatial zone. Which, uh, well I have the play math there. We have the play math. Okay, you see? We have the battle zone, mana zone, and shield zone. Here we have the deck, the graveyard. And here, which is nothing else than some rules, but it's hyper special zone is pointed around here. So there is where they are. And your opponent can look at the cards as well as you. So that seems weird to you, huh? Mm. Okay, uh, you see that it costs 3 mana. Mm. So then I think, uh, should we just choose to use uh, 3 mana and just put it in the battle zone. No, it doesn't work like that. You don't use mana for summon hyper... Uh, for summoning um, summon something from the hyper special zone. You need to use a spell. This is a spell. Does this work? This card here? It does it. And you might wonder uh, how in the world are we going to use this card? I was wondering this before I started to check it up. You need a special type of spell. It's not signed anything on it, but you will know it, because you will recognize it. This is one of the spells you can use. You have the same electric th thing going on. And in the text box, it sounds like... Um, yeah, a cost... Uh, yeah, you can choose to summon... Uh, any number of uh, cards from your hyperspatial zone with a cost of 2 mana or less. Yes. Or you can choose to take one who costs 4 or more. Yeah. That's, that's, that's cool, yeah. But let's go back to this card. This is the card itself. Okay, what is it sounds on it? It's blocker. Kono kuricha wa attack suru koto ga dekki nai. It can't attack uh, at all. Uh, and it's also sound like, uh, yeah, if you summon a card from, uh, which is a water, uh, I think it's, no, if you summon a water, no, if you summon a blocker with a cost of uh, 4,000 or more, or was it, uh, yeah, 4,000 or more, no, a cost of 4 or more. Then this is, it sounds like flip it. So then you did this, and it become this creature here. So now it's a light creature, <laughs> a psychic creature. It sounds like this cost six mana. Yes. So if you have one of those who can uh, summon one who have a uh, cost of six, then you can actually summon this at the same time, and you don't need this flip ability. So there's no background on them. Um, so if you see here, the uh, text box is changed, it has higher power, and um, yeah, it can attack. Uh, the more is on this card. Um, 
yeah, it also gets an extra ability uh, there, which I don't have the time to read up right now. Yes, I read this thing now. <laughs> I was surprised myself. Uh, and yeah, it is. You can use. Um, you can evolve this card because you see they have a creature type. But let's see. If you have one of those in the battle zone and it gets destroyed, what happens? It goes back to the hyperspatial zone. In no, in no case, it will ha happens that it's somewhere else in the hyperspatial zone or the battle zone. If it's destroyed, to go back to the hand. It happens to go to the hyperspatial zone, so it can't actually happens to go on the hand or in the graveyard or the shield zone for that uh, reason. Uh, it's in the hyperspatial zone if it's not in the b battle zone. We have another card here. Sorry, the camera was full, so I need to take this all over again. Okay. Uh, this is also a psychic creature. And uh, yeah, this also have this ability that it can be flipped. Like if you do what it sounds on it. So, uh, yeah, it becomes a... Uh, well, this is a 1000 power creature. And when you flip it, it becomes a 5,000 creature with a 2,000 uh, power attacker. Power attacker, yes. And, yeah, and it's got double breaker afterward. So you can see this cost uh, 7 mana. Uh, by have you put this in, it cost is 2. So if you used this thing, you have this early. And you do this ability uh, with... Oh, summon a creature with 6,000... Oh, yeah, however... When you flip it, it gets a whole lot better, that's the point. And that's how that works. And you can use this card... Uh, but if you have uh, a full deck and... Uh, and you try to have eight other psychic creatures, then it wouldn't work because you need to use a deck to have this thing. This is in the deck, not in the hyperspatial zone. You can have spells, but they won't work. So today I have uh, showed you two creatures, uh, two cards who are four creatures. <laughs> This is, or there are two creatures in one card, obviously. And that's how it works. Uh, and yeah, those are less good of them, but they're still good, <laughs> if you see what I mean. Like some of them cost like over 14, uh, 14 mana to su to summon. Well, you don't use mana for them, but they cost like 14. But uh, yeah, the the game just get better and. Uh, how and you may wonder if you have a sleeve like uh, for example uh, this is super spark which I, which I use and I have it in a sleeve what will happen if you put this thing in the sleeve one of the pages will disappear so if you're going to use use uh, sleeves on them use them clean you can add on the rest of the cards, but use clean sleeves which n have no image if it's n if you can't uh, uh, see it through it. So that's how that works, and it's not that big problem. Those you can use just normal sleeves on because they are normal cards which you help you out to summon the psychic creatures. So I hope you learned something. If you want me to make a podcast where I explain it better, uh, I would do it. So. Yeah, comment and tell me if you understand what I told you. Okay, see you later.